Hammer's here. So the highly anticipated Thor Love and Thunder is out. And it's the first time since COVID where we have one of the last living members of the original Avengers having a movie out. Is it any good? Does it live up to the previous movie Ragnarok with Taika Waititi? Well, let's find out. Anyway, I'm Keggers, and this is Thor Love and Thunder. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let's get started. So, Love and Thunder takes place after the events of Endgame, where Thor's gone off with the Guardians to find himself. Now, there's been a lot of stuff, a lot of tragedy that's happened in the life of our character. And the God of Thunder has been going on a journey of self-exploration and trying to discover who and what he is, nor being king or prince or anything other than himself as a hero. So yeah, he's bumming around the galaxy, he's righting wrongs and doing good with the Guardians, and that's fun. But the Guardian stuff does not really overstay its welcome either. It's just a bit of stuff at the start, and then it's off to Thor being on his own, which is really what he should be. Though luckily, Korg does stick around because he was a bright spot from the previous movie, and I'm glad he is sticking around with our blonde hero. And what's he going on to deal with this time? Well, Gore. Gore is the God Butcher, and he is a very, very well-defined, frightening villain who's going around defeating and killing the gods, who is seen as unworthy of the powers and responsibility they have because they just don't seem to care about like, humanity or alienanity with all the other different races and species out in the galaxy. And once we delve into it, yeah, it does seem like we have all these ultra-powerful beings who just don't give a shit about anybody or anything else that's going out in the universe. So, with Gore going around trying to kill the gods, he launches an attack on New Asgard, and Thor has to go to save his people. He, Valkyrie, and, eventually, Jane, team up to go put a stop to him and deal with him stealing something of great importance. Having Jane back in this is very, very welcome because she was kind of missed last movie and she's a great actress. Now that we have Natalie Portman actually having something to do with these movies, I just keep wondering like, why couldn't she have done something in the previous couple of movies? She's a good actress and when given something to actually do in this role, it's wonderful. The relationship between Jane and Thor is just wonderful. This is also very humorous. Um, the humor from the previous movie has just been amped up a little more. Actually, no, it's been amped up a little too much. I'd say it's gone for an 11 when it should have stopped at a 7. But maybe they need to do that because there is quite a bit of serious stuff being talked about here in this story. Gore um, being driven on his quest of revenge, him going after the gods, him going after finding his own way of revenge. It's very Kratos-y, except Kratos is wrong in everything you think he does, and Gore actually has kind of a point. I'm not going to go the Thanos was right with Gore, but a little bit. Well, anyway, characters have to work together and they eventually arrive on the City of the Gods where Thor tries to ask for their help in putting a stop to Gore and his plans. And the gods live up to their, or live down to their reputation by not wanting help at all. Which leads Thor to go off on his own with his ragtag group and put a stop to him. Now, does he put a stop to Gore? Of course, it's a Marvel movie. Of course, a hero is going to win at the end. But anyway, he does this, and whether or not this leads to something else, the movie does leave you with a great and interesting place for the future of this character. Everything's good. This is a good movie. It is not a 100% phenomenal movie. A little too much humor in some places. Um, this thing seemed like it could have been dragged out to like maybe two movies, but it's enjoyable. And I really highly recommend you guys watching it. Anyway, I'm Keckers, this is Thor Love and Thunder, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.